Hey, Rigsters here. Now with part two of the woodblock boat. In the first episode, I showed how to put the build block speed to four, how to delete the default spawn station in decide mode, basics of symmetry, and also how to make the game make more sense with block shapes as well. So now, Continuing off from the last episode, let's finish this shape design. So the first thing you want to do is line up towards the front here. So to do that, we hold down the W key or just tap it till we get to the green here. We're going to be using some more four meter blocks or wood beams. Whoops, I always get blocks and beams mixed up, I apologize. Wood beams. Tap the number 3 if you have it set to that binding. If you do not, just make sure you set it to one that makes the most sense. And then once it's shown here and it's green, just press left click. Just like that. And we're going to build one more into the front. So you just simply W key forward again. Just to here. And then just left click again. Great. So we're going to close this off and we're going to I'm going to show you how to rotate blocks. We're going to use a smaller block for this. We're just going to simply close it off with a 2 meter beam. So the switch from wood beam 4 meter to 2 meter using just the... So to, that's a reminder from the previous episode of how to get these blocks to show on your number key thing. You just simply go click left click on blocks wood and this could go with any blocks i'm just doing wood as an example mouse over to beam two meter and if you want it to be the sequential from shortest to longest you just click on one for two beat for beam two meter two for beam three meter and three for beam four meter that is how i prefer it set up some players prefer it the opposite or to put the longest at the low number and then go downwards. I prefer ascending than descending order as the preferred way of building, but that is a preference thing. I just at least wanted to show you how to make it more logical. And you can do that for any box pretty much in this game. You just have to make sure you know what where you put where, otherwise it can get confusing very quickly. <laughs> so with that out of the way, we want to do beam 2 meter, and you might be saying, well how do I connect it? Can I just simply just left click and um, just keep building? Well you could, but an easier way of doing it I've found to rotate blocks. So I'm going to turn off uh, symmetrical build as well. Which as I showed in the previous video, you just hold down left alt and end quickly like that. And then to go, if you're accidentally downwards like this, just press the spacebar once that elevates the block in keyboard based build mode. I've been using keyboard for all these tutorial videos and using the mouse for the camera. That's just my preference and the game default. Hold down tab and you'll see these spinning circles. This is how you can rotate and flip blocks of any kind. So simply Tapping the D key once while holding down tab allows you to rotate and flip blocks. And if you want to not have that show, just let go of tab. And now you have it here. Another way of doing it, but it's simpler, but it's not as controllable, is you could press the letter G while moving your mouse around. And you can like rotate your block while aiming with the mouse. I don't prefer that because I think it's uh, trickier to use in practice. Once you get used to the tab thing with uh, the directional keys, it's much easier. I'm going to finish these blocks here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the middle real quick here. And I'll be right back. All right, Ed, we're back. So I had some more technical difficulties because I realized 
that it would have been better to actually have the block in the middle, not the other way around. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a four meter beam in front of the starting block, have parallel mode engaged with the left, with alt, left alt N key, and this left click here. That way it's a little more symmetrical and it's a little easier to build. So let me just get rid of those to demonstrate. So basically, once you have the block built in the middle, tap the A or D key once, then left click. And now you have symmetry mode building on the side of the boat. Click that again to build forward, like so. And now we want to build the middle. So moving the mouse to aim in the direction intended, like this. Tap the A key once, so make sure your camera is facing the same way. And then tap the W key a few times, just so you have more control over it. You can hold it down. Left click there. And now I have technically completed a basic cube, like so. And I want to delete that last block there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over with this block right here and make sure it gets to red while facing in the same direction. You have to kind of be careful with this because sometimes it will fight you a bit. So like that. If you do it right, it should remove... Yep, it did. So it should remove the little block it starts you with. Like so. You kind of have to really play around with the WASD spacebar and left alt key thing because it it can be a bit of a chore to do but once you get more familiarized with the keyboard base building it gets a little simpler over practice and time and that's how you build this basic shape i'll just uh press the cab key you know not have caps key and alt left alt n just to show you what it looks like on the water real briefly it's not very stable so we're gonna have to fix that in the another tutorial video so that is basically how you finish and build a very basic cube with four meter beams so that way it's now enclosed and is a very basic platform that we can start adding more components and materials over time hope you enjoyed this this is Brickster's journey signing off